This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. What I found from this study was that uh, as carbon dioxide, it directly impacted the temperatures. It increased the temperatures worldwide and in the United States, and it increased water vapor. The increases in ozone were particularly important in urban areas. You didn't get such increases in rural areas. It was where the ozone was already high in already polluted areas that ozone increased more with higher temperatures due to carbon dioxide. The resulting health effects are over the United States that for every one degree Celsius temperature rise due to carbon dioxide alone, uh, there may be an additional 1,000 uh, deaths per year in the U.S. And this translates globally to about 20,000 extra deaths per year due to air pollution. Uh, many of these deaths occur in California. So California is particularly vulnerable to climate change because six out of the top 10 polluted cities in the United States are in California. The U.S. EPA uh, turned down a request by California uh, to allow California to control or regulate carbon dioxide emissions. And the basis for the request, in part, was because uh, California, they thought that California would not have any more adverse effects due to carbon dioxide than any other state. But they did not have the benefit of this study. And, and this is, in fact, incorrect because of the high pollution in California and the fact that higher temperatures make pollution even worse where the, where the pollution is already bad. This study really indicates that uh, there's a, there's a need, well it shows a link, it shows a, a, a definite cause and effect link, not just a correlation, but a cause and effect link between carbon dioxide and air pollution uh, health problems. Some people have said that you don't inhale climate change. Uh, this study finds that you do inhale the effects of climate change. In fact, because uh, climate change, and particularly carbon dioxide, which causes about half of all climate change, uh, it raises the temperatures and increases the water vapor, and both of these effects feed back to higher air pollution. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.